Hello, and welcome to Travel with Austin. I'm Austin, and today I'm going to be your guide to Kosai. This guide is meant for people who have never been to Kosai, or maybe it's just been such a long time and you want some more information on it. First of all, let's start with a simple question. What is Kosai? The Center of Science and Industry, known as Kosai, is a science museum slash center in Columbus, Ohio. But calling it just a museum does not at all do it justice. COSI is an interactive museum playground combination with fun for people of all ages. Now, COSI does have a lot of exhibits meant for kids. However, most of them can still be enjoyed by adults as well. COSI is also massive featuring several exhibits, so there's something for everyone. Now, COSI will also sometimes host what they call After Dark events, where only people 21 years and older are allowed to attend and alcohol is served. So be aware that no matter your age, you will find something at COSI that you will like. Now, before we get into what COSI offers, let's talk about visiting COSI. According to COSI, all tickets must be purchased online in advance. Once you reserve your ticket, you are able to enter at any time during the day of your scheduled ticket. Now, at the time of recording, COSI is open five days a week, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. This may change over time, so please make sure to check the dates and times yourself. The LAS LAC Parking Garage, located underneath the park in front of COSI, is the easiest place to park for access to the center. The underground parking garage is just a few feet away from the main entrance. However, be aware that the garage, and most others in the area, do require you to pay for parking. And LAS does not accept cash, meaning you must bring a debit or credit card. Now, along with the parking prices, COSI itself costs money to get into. Many do consider COSI to be on the more expensive side, but they do offer certain programs and ways to get discounts on tickets. Due to the highly volatile nature of ticket prices, the fact that there are several ways to get discounts, and the fact that yearly memberships are offered by COSI, I will not be listing the current prices but I do urge you to go to the COSI website to see what the current prices are at the time you plan on going and seeing if you are eligible for a discount. Now, finally, let's talk about what COSI offers for you and your family. COSI has two different types of exhibits, the permanent mainstays and the rotating exhibits. Let's begin with our mainstays. Little Kid Space is the perfect space for your child younger than first grade, it allows them to climb, build, and play in a safe area staffed by early education experts. Big Science Park is the outdoor area where you can lift a car and roll a giant boulder, weather permitting. Energy Explorers is a small exhibit about energy and how your choices matter. Gadgets is an exhibit where you and your kids can play with science and physics. The exhibit features magnets, light tricks, a VFX studio, and more. This exhibit can get loud and does have flashing lights, so it may not be suitable for those with sensory issues. Space. This exhibit contains some space shuttle simulations, a small space station model, and, of course, the planetarium. Life, the story of you, is an exhibit about the human body and mind. Now, this exhibit does include some nude representations and human remains, so it may not be suitable for younger kids. Progress, one of my favorites. This exhibit takes you back in time to a town in the year of 1898 that you can walk through and interact with. And then you can time travel to that very same town 
in the year of 1962 to see exactly how the town has changed over the years and the progress made with technology. Ocean is another one of my personal favorites, and Ocean is all about the power of water. Now, this fun exhibit is cleverly divided into two sections. Poseidon's Domain, where you can play in a mystical, watery playground and even get wet if you choose to. Then, once you're done in Poseidon's Domain, you can head over to Poseidon's Sea Base, where you find yourself in a high-tech base at the bottom of the ocean. You can climb into a mini submarine, pilot an underwater drone, and more. There are also many hallway exhibits, motion simulators, and a high-wire unicycle that you can ride. Now, if you want a better idea of some of these exhibits, videos of both the Ocean exhibits and the Progress exhibit can be found on my YouTube channel. Now, what makes Kosai unique is the rotating exhibits. These are exhibits that come and go at the center and change pretty often, every few months. The Kosai website will feature what the current exhibits are that they have and what is coming soon. During our visit at the end of 2023, they had the Barbie exhibit, the dinosaur exhibit, and were about to open a bioluminescence exhibit. While it is best to check the website for the current exhibits at whatever time you plan to go, some of the 2024 exhibits that they have planned is an exhibit on color, and the much-anticipated return of the Titanic exhibit. Examples of past exhibits have included inventions by Leonardo da Vinci, robotics, and even an exhibit by Marvel Studios. Kosai is fun for everyone, and well worth the money. My advice for newcomers is to go during rotating exhibits that you know you will enjoy, and make sure to enjoy the classics as well, they are some of my favorites, even when there are rotating exhibits that are amazing. Be prepared to spend the whole day there, especially if you have kids, as the building is over 300,000 square feet, and there is tons of things to do and see. Bring some money to visit the museum gift shop and the cafe for some snacks and souvenirs. I hope this guide helps you plan your trip to Kosai, and if you have any other tips or questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching.